The pastor tells us he can't understand why. In the last few years, burglars have targeted a Whitley County church multiple times. The latest break in happened earlier this week, and this time the pastor says the burglar stole some unusual items. Phil Pendleton is tracking the investigation tonight. It's becoming old hat for the Oak Ridge Church of God, and Pastor Dorman Patrick is scratching his head to figure out why. Very frustrating. Uh, you uh, live in a community that, that uh, you would think would respect the house of God more. But you could argue some are not respecting this church, all because of the numerous times it's either been broken into or vandalized in recent history. We first spoke to Dorman Patrick in January of 2007 after thieves hit the church twice in two weeks. <laughs> they sat on the back seat of our church and, and drunk. Uh, a uh, soft drink and ate tater chips and uh, ate gum just like it was like they was at home. So perhaps you could call them the soda bandits based on what was taken this time. Come through the front door, pried it open, uh, come in and took a, uh, some uh, 15 liters of pop. They also stole a garbage can, tools, and a ladder. And it's at least the fifth time the church has been targeted in the last 10 years. In July of 2014, we showed you how they broke windows out for no apparent reason. Pure sin, that's the only way I can put it. Patrick says as far as he knows, no one has ever been arrested for any of the break-ins or vandalism. I told some folks last time we was broke into, I said, I think they ought to send us from to come to church for at least a year instead of putting them in jail. I don't help them. In Whitley County, Phil Pendleton, WKYT. The pastor says after this latest burglary, he's now thinking about new security measures and possibly closing the parking lot when church services are not being held.